Hi folks, and welcome to another episode of Aston Answers. As always, I'm Daniel Martin, partner here at Aston Digital, and I'm here to answer your questions today. Today's question is, what CMS or website builder should I be using? This is a huge question, and I could probably talk to you for literally hours about it. But the simple answer is, they're not all the same, but they all achieve a similar kind of goal. It's a little bit like cars. You may say, well, I'm not really a car person, so I don't care what kind of car I get. Fair enough, you'll just pick any old car. Maybe it's a great, reliable Toyota or something like that. By contrast, you might be a car person and you say, I prefer BMWs over Mercedes, or I really like Audis, or perhaps I'm a Holden guy and I want to get a Holden, so that's what I'm going to go for. Ultimately, cars all get you to an end destination. They carry stuff around, they take you to where you want to go. Really, the car is fundamentally the same but you know deep down it's not. They've all got different features, different qualities, and different abilities to do different things. For example, you might take an SUV that could take you off-road, whereas a small sedan might not allow you to do that. Both cars, but they have different features. That leads us to CMSs and website builders. So, each of them do different things. You've probably heard of things like WordPress or Wix or Squarespace, perhaps even Shopify, maybe other things like um, Sitefinity or some of the uh, Microsoft platforms. All of these things do more or less the same thing, which is they build you a website, but they do it differently. So the kind of things that you want to consider are, do I care how much I can customize this? Do I need someone to support it for me all the time? Do I need a particular depth of features that one platform has over another. A really simple example that we deal with all the time is WordPress versus Shopify. In the WordPress versus Shopify example, you've got two very, very powerful platforms. One, WordPress is highly customizable. You get complete control over what you're doing and you can build literally anything you want, which sounds great, but it comes at a cost because building things can become expensive. By contrast, Shopify, which is a great e-commerce platform and allows you to sell stuff really, really well, doesn't allow you the same level of customization. It has some apps in there that you can do some great things with, but it's a little bit harder to work with. The flip side is it's looked after for you, it's managed for you, and it's a very secure, safe, and well-rounded platform. In other words, stuff doesn't go as wrong as often, and it doesn't cost you quite as much to build on. So, which do you care about more? The extensibility of WordPress, or the managed e-commerce platform that Shopify is? you need to assess both of those platforms properly and compare them to your business need because those business needs will ultimately tell you which path that you want to go down. Maybe internally inside the business there's a particular drive to take one platform over another, maybe someone's used it before, maybe there's some particular allegiance to some sort of technology that somebody likes, that's okay, but ultimately it comes down to what is the business need, what are you trying to achieve, and then which platform aligns best with that because really, much like the car example that I said before, they are not all the same and you should treat them differently. So in short, which CMS should you use? Have a good look at your business requirements first, then assess, even test out with some demonstration websites, a number of different CMSs to work out what sits best with your needs because it might not be the thing that you're thinking about straight off the bat. Look at your business needs, test the market, then choose the thing that best suits your requirements. I hope that answers your question. Again, I'm Daniel Martin, partner here at Aston Digital. And if you have any questions for us, please jump onto our website. Go to astondigital.com.au slash ask us a question and we will answer the question for you. Have a great day and we'll catch you at the next one.